welcome back. Okay then, so here you had a look at this paragraph and what you needed to do was um, have a look and find the different adverbials that have been found. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> it's to have a look and underline the adverbials that have been used. Not that found, you're finding them. Goodness me. Silly Mrs. And. Okay then. So we're going to have a just quick go through that and then I'm going to talk through what your activity is today. All right then. So here I've highlighted the ING uh, adverbials, the ING ones. I've um, highlighted the adverb the adverbs as well and I've highlighted the prepositions okay so I'm going to read it to you now cautiously and slowly that's how somebody is done doing something remember the adverbs of Anna I entered the dark cavern of the vine covered tomb I could barely see a few feet in front of me light hadn't touched the inside of this room in a millennium I took out my trusty lighter so I could see better flickering gently between my hands now the reason why we've put oh sorry about that the reason why we've put a comma here is because if we put it after flickering flickering gently between my hands the flame it wouldn't sound right it's not grammatically correct so here what we've done is we've put flickering gently between my hands because that is what you're doing it's flickering uh, uh, gently between your hands the flame of my lighter illuminated the corners of the room all around me the walls were covered in sol in solid tablets covered in some ancient language. On the other side of the room, the statue of Atwa stood watching over the riches that were scattered across the floor. Glistening vividly in the centre of Atwa's headpiece was a large jewel, a moonstone, a rose diamond so large that it looked like a star from heavens. Now then, today, your task. Your task is is to create fronted adverbials using the ing, the a, and the p, so the adverbs of manner and the prepositions to create a paragraph from a short, um, create a paragraph about the Egyptian pyramid story. So thinking about all the elements that you've used this week, you're going to put it together and you're going to write about what happened in that story okay I think you might find this quite easy I have that feeling because you've done really well with this work this week so I want to see in your work fronted adverbials ending in ing you can use the word banks to help you but you can also think of some I want you to use adverbs of manner how somebody is doing something. How did the camel move? How did the man move when he found the cartouche? So think really carefully about that. And I'd like you to use prepositions. Where was the cartouche? Where was the pyramid? Was it in the distance? What did the man see when he got inside? So that's what I'd like you to do first. Okay, I need you to pause the video here though because I want you to come back and we're going to have a go at answering these. So pause the video now and go and have a go at writing your paragraph using the ING, adverbs of manner and preposition from the I space. Okay, welcome back then. Now, you've had a go at your uh, paragraph. Fabulous. Now what I'd like you to do is to... Um, Sort these sentences into the type of fronted adverbials that have been used there, okay? And what I'd like you to think about is um, you could either circle them or you could tick them or you could write next to them what they are. So the ING, the adverbs of manner and the prepositions. So pause the video here, have a go at that now. Okay, should we have a look then? And you know, I've just realised I've done one wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So here we've got our um, ING, roaring loudly, the lion called out to the pride, and laughing hysterically, another ING, haven't we? Those two should be in red. So I'm very sorry. <laughs> because I hear we've got happily and playfully, that's how the kitten was rolling around on the floor. That is our adverb of manner. These two should be red. So I do really apologise for that. So sorry. 
And then this one here, far across the field, that's our preposition, isn't it? Ben was playing with his friend. Below the beautiful blue sky, that's our preposition, we sat and had a picnic. Did you see how we got those there? I'm very sorry I didn't put those two in red. That is absolutely my fault. All right then. Now, I really look forward to seeing your wonderful work next week, year three. And I hope that you have a really lovely weekend. You take care now and I shall see you very soon. Bye now.